Hello guys, today we are going to learn how to install OneJS on Windows 10. So but before we are going to do that, we need to know what is OneJS. So OneJS is the newest member of the JavaScript runtime family, just like Node.js and Dino. So why are we going to learn OneJS? Which is because OneJS is very faster than Node.js and Dino. So it is getting popular. However, in Windows 10, we cannot directly install OneJS because it is still a young runtime environment. But for Mac users and Linux users, they can directly install uh, OneJS on their computers. So what we are going to do today is we are going to enable our WSL, which is Windows subsystem for Linux on our Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. And then we are going to download a Ubuntu version and then we are going to install OneJS within that Ubuntu version. So for that, we can go to Windows features first. And then we can go to the bottom of this menu and we can enable Windows subsystem for Linux and then press OK and then it will do the thing and we will need to restart our computer. Then we need to go to Microsoft Store and search for Ubuntu on Microsoft Store and we need to install uh, one of Ubuntu versions and then we can install our bunches within this Ubuntu version. So this is how we are going to do this in graphical use interface but today I'm going to teach you how to install all those things with the use of Windows 10 or Windows 11 command lines. We are going to open our command line and we are going to start as the administrator. Give permissions and you are there as the administrator. So what we are going to do is we we need to enable Windows subsystem by installing it. So what we are going to do is type WSL and dash dash install. You should be connected to the internet and you can press enter. Okay, so here you can see the progress of our WSS installation. So it will take some time and let's come back after the installation. Here it's downloading Ubuntu automatically. So our Ubuntu installation and WSL installation is finished. We are asked to reboot the system. Let's reboot and come back. So we are back from the restart. As you can see, when we unlock our computer again, the Ubuntu is popped up there and asking us to continue. So you can see here in Windows menu that Ubuntu is installed recently. Okay. Here now Ubuntu is asking for a username. We can give a particular username and then it will ask for the password. Now the installation is successful and we can start installing Bunjs. Also before install Bunjs, we need to uh, Install another package called unzip to uh, unzip bunjs package. So let's install uh, that package apt install unzip. Since we are not the root user here, we need to type sudo. It lasts the password. Now let's go to our browser and we can type bun.sh to go to the official bunjs website and in here you can see the command for the installation for bunjs so we can go there and press copy now it is copied our clipboard we can go to our linux here and paste it by right clicking and press enter You can see Bunjs is installing on our Ubuntu. All right, 
now one is installed here and it is telling us to manually add the directory to bash rc so what we are going to do is we are going to copy these two lines and then we need to go to the bash rc file and edit it so we did that we can type nano then tilde sign forward slash dot bash rc so now we have opened the bash rc file on nano editor we can go to the bottom of the file and we can paste copy two lines by right clicking then we can edit it and we can save it by pressing ctrl x and we can say yes we need to modify buffer by pressing y and then pressing enter we can confirm it now it's there so now we can check if the button is there by typing one dash dash version okay it says we can we cannot find one command so what we need to do is log out and log back into our Ubuntu terminal we can type exit and go back then again we can come back to Ubuntu and now we can type again one dash dash version so as we can see it shows now it's 0.2.2 which means one is there so what we can do now is we can run a bun project so how to run a bun project as in the bun official website we can see that down here after the installation we can copy this and we can run it on a javascript file so what we are going to do is we can uh, create a new folder by typing mkdir uh, let's say bun okay let's check what is there okay bun is there we can go to that folder cd bun then we can create a new file let's type touch app.js okay now we can open that app.js file with nano editor now we can copy our code by right clicking okay it says http.js we can rename it as app.js and so we can run this and we can call it by port 3000 let's press ctrl x confirm by pressing y and pressing enter so now what we should do we can run that by typing bun run httpjs which means in our case bun run app.js so to do that we should be within that fo folder let's run by typing one app.js okay now we can see it our default browser so in our browser we can type localhost colon 3000 type enter Yes, what we can see is here welcome to bun. So we can change our bun app by then we should go to bun file by typing nano app.js. Here we can change what is displayed here. Welcome to bun with Windows 10. Okay, let's save it. Then let's 
run it again burn burn run app.js go to our browser and let's refresh it and we can see welcome to burn with windows 10 okay for fun we can try installing a react app with bun and we can run it so let's create another directory first we should get back from here and we can mkdir bun react okay let's go into it cd bun react Burn, create react and our app name we can give name like hello react and we can press enter it will very quickly install a react app so that's why we use one for JavaScript runtime because it is faster than Node.js. Okay, that's it, and we can as we can go to this directory and run this as shown in here. Like CD, hello React. Then we can type one tail and we can run our application. It's also in the local host 3000. Okay, you can see our React app zip is working. So if you want to edit it, let's go to our editor and we can stop executing and we should uh, go to this source file here, cd src and we should edit app.js this file so we can open it with nano 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 app.jsx right this is the file as you can see it shows welcome to react learn react so what we can change is this h3 heading welcome to react with bun and windows 10 okay let's save it and then let's run it again with bun dev sorry we need to go back and we can now Type on there. Let's refresh. Here it is. Welcome to React with Burn and Windows 10. That's all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching.